Hi guys and also good morning. Today as you can see by the title I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. So for breakfast I'm going to be having overnight oats with cheese seeds and milk and then I just top it off with some strawberries and I like to put some honey on top. This has been my absolute favourite breakfast at the moment and I like to also have a coffee. Generally if it's quite warm in the house I'll just have a cold coffee. And the coffee that I've been enjoying at the moment is this one cold brew espresso. And also in the morning, I like to start off my day with a pint of water because I don't drink enough in the day and I know I don't and I need to drink more. So yeah, I start off with a pint of water, coffee and I'll have my breakfast. I also had my hair dyed recently on Friday. I did it blonder. Hope you like it. I love it, it's so soft. She does a great job every single time and I'm obsessed, I love it so much. The weather today is rubbish, it's just doing that fine rain trickling, it's rubbish. September has definitely started. If you can hear any background noise, the fridge it makes noises and also the dryer is on. So yeah, if you can hear any noises that's what that'll be. And I'll be back for my next meal. So I actually ended up going out for some lunch, me and my mum just went to a little pub and I got some soup and a gingerbread cheesecake. The gingerbread cheesecake mm, wasn't the best but mum really liked it so she ended up eating most of it and the soup didn't look pleasant but actually was very nice. It was kind of like creamy and cheesy soup and it came with a little bread roll and obviously I change up like what I eat every day. I mean I do generally have like similar things because I'm once I like something I feel like I do quite like to eat that thing over and over again and I do get stuck in my ways with like what I like to eat so if I was at home I probably would have still had soup because I do really enjoy soup. I just had that meal with an apple and raspberry J2O which is really nice and I'll come back when it's tea time and I feel quite full so I don't think I'll be eating anything else until tea time. If you're in England do you also call it tea time or do you just call it dinner time because I feel like Sometimes I'll say dinner or sometimes I'll say tea time Which might sound weird to some people tea time might not be the same thing, but over here. It's like breakfast dinner tea or breakfast lunch dinner I don't know but yeah anyway, so I'll see you when I'm having my next meal So for my tea tonight, I'm just gonna be having a roast dinner, but I don't eat meat So I'm having it without the meat. So I've just got some veg and some potatoes and some Yorkshire puddings and this is carrot and swede and I'm just going to be pouring a hell of a lot of gravy on my dinner because I love gravy. So I haven't even had any snacks today which like it depends really I mean I do snack but if I've had like three meals that were quite filling then I won't see the need to I won't feel like I need a snack so today's been one of those days I haven't felt hungry in between meals or anything like that so yeah, the oats was really filling, my dinner was really filling, and this will be really filling, but I probably will have some dessert or something later on before bed. Mm. So it's a bit later on now, I'm just gonna try and find a film on Sky or Netflix and chill out. I am gonna have this as well, this lovely chocolate chip biscuit as my last meal of the day, it's not a meal, it's a biscuit, but I'm gonna have this and yeah, then I'm gonna go to sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this Why Eat In A Day, if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it would really help me out and I'd be really really grateful if you did subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!